I think you're in my office. It's kind of nice in here. Comfortable. Good for her. Uh-uh. Not gonna happen. It's not what you said last night. Why are you squatting in my secret happy place? Just trying to get my head together. You're always in here. I thought it might help. Don't tell me Charlie the Great is nervous. I might have messed up. I got demolished by the undercover. I should have listened to you and ran with the drug program. Please, my body is a temple. I let punk ass the Shay get to me, and now I might have blown it. I had a hooker client once. She got hit with promoting prostitution. I was so amped. I just knew I could get the charges dropped because the cop who picked her up, he'd been getting blowjobs from her. But it backfired. She ended up getting two years. You know what really sucks? What? We go home. They go to prison. You want my advice? Why else am I in this damn closet? <laughs> go to Deshaies. Put aside your gigantic, enormous, humongous, big old ego. Swallow your pride and ask No, me. no way. I lay down for Deshay now, he'll own me. I'll be his bitch forever. It means no leverage for any future clients. PD 101, you fight for every client as if they are your only client. Street 101, a dude beats your ass, he always beats your ass. You are not on the street anymore. You seriously thinking I should just bend over for Deshay? I think that you are man enough not to let your clients suffer for your arrogance. This might be a learning moment for you. And mostly, I think not everything between you and Deshay has to have homoerotic overtones.